New Wave School for the Performing Arts is a California Partnership Academy with a focus on arts, media, and entertainment. So we're a two-year academy at Windsor High School, uh, and over the course of that two years, we challenge students through hands-on work-based learning projects, including biannual professional theatrical productions, where every single student in the program is contributing either by acting on stage, designing and implementing a marketing plan, uh, building the sets, costuming the actors, etc., etc., etc. I think I would say that the most special thing is just the community that sort of surrounds it. Um, I think that it's really cool how, no matter like who it, who it is, there are people that I don't even necessarily know personally in here, but I still feel like there's a connection to them. I think the kids that we're most excited about reaching are the kids that we're surprised when they have success. When we get to our production unit, that's when those kids that in our classes were sort of invisible, but now they're stepping up and these two kids that I've never heard talk before are designing the set pieces that we're building. Um, that, that one female that was just sort of this like, I want to raise my hand but I'm afraid There's to talk is now on stage, just booming voice for getting people taking leadership roles and costuming. We're having marketing people we didn't even know had these graphic skills are putting together amazing posters that we didn't teach them that. They came with this talent, but it's finding those hidden talents and just kind of my philosophy is get out of the way. Like before we were trying to like, this is, this is exactly what you're supposed to do. Instead, just giving them that structure and yet that freedom to sort of express themselves creatively. Like my job is mostly up in the booth. And so a lot of like the lighting board, it's been Richards will be like, all right, we're doing this. And I'll sit there and watch him and he'll show me this is how you do this. This is the shortcut for that. And then I can be up there and program lights on my own. And you get a billion different skills in Nueva. You're building things and painting things and doing lights and sound and a lot of surprisingly practical skills <laughs> that you end up with. What we're trying to do like there, there's a very obvious end goal in mind, right? We're trying to put on a production, we're trying to put on a play. Um, but beyond that, if you kind of look beyond that veneer, what you see is a lot of really important transferable skills. Students are learning responsibility. They're learning collaboration, which is essential for 21st century learning. They're learning how to um, work with other creative people uh, to problem solve, to meet deadlines, uh, and put something on stage. I would definitely say I'm surprised by, by like the, the process that it takes to to make something of this of this size, like to know the hard work it takes. It, it's it's really eye opening, and it makes me appreciate more of what people do. In a way that this is one of the hardest things that any high school students have to do. Like, how often is there a high school that student that has to build a set or that has to like learn how to do all the lighting and stuff and I mean thinking about Marissa our stage manager she's in charge of so many different things. So you're all working in different pods, different pieces, pulling things together from everywhere and you get to as it builds you can physically see like the sets coming up. Here are all the props, the actors on stage and you can see what everybody does in the final product. So even if it's like, oh, I rearranged the lights, you can see that. And you have more of a sense of community in that because you can see what you're building together. Um, but after their first show, they realize, they see the set kids building, they see the posters going up, they see like the costume parade where they're like, wow, I didn't even know that was happening. Um, and then they see the tech people there after every show because they have to wait to get to the stage. And then, of course, the actors. I think it's one of those things like until you go through it, you don't understand um, how important it is to be a piece of something larger than yourself. Other than it just being fun to do, as hard as it is, it's actually really fun. It comes from partly everyone just ex being accepting and loving of everyone. And there's not really a stigma of really what group you need to hang out with or where you need to like like oh no don't do that that's that's not cool or something because everyone is just does whatever they're going to do and everyone accepts everyone one of my favorite things about noeva is just the energy that our community brings um and we obviously bring it on stage that's where everyone sees us but i love teaching 
economics to this group. I love teaching government. I love teaching history. I love collaborating with my co-teachers um, because there is an energy and there's a positivity and there's a willingness and a desire to be here. One of the kind of aha moments for me is we used to always have them write reflections and it was just more of like, let's do this and it'll be our little wrap up piece. And then we started really reading them with more intention and then we realized this is, the, this, is, this is a nugget of knowledge. So we spend a lot more time now reading the reflections and allowing them to inform the next show. Well then, I've seen the day that I have worn a visor and can tell a whispering tale in a fair lady's ear. And put it, girls. Uh, so just come down the stairs here and you'll just, you'll be doing it and then... It's a spider. Everyone quiet. I want to be able to remember the exact moment Cedric comes out of that maze. Ava has a great CTE uh, pathway built into the course production design where students learn design elements, digital design elements, they learn personal branding, they learn a little bit of web design, a little bit of Adobe, uh, and then uh, you marry that with a history class or a U.S. government class and uh, two years of English um, and you start blending together academics and this really dynamic, creative experience. And then we hear from our kids, and sometimes it's the most unexpected kids um, that are like, yeah, I'm at Berkeley, and they're having us do design thinking, and I'm the only one that knew what they were talking about. Or I had to do a resume to get this position in, as an editor in the UCLA yearbook. I already had my resume, and I told them I knew how to do InDesign. And I, I'm getting paid for doing what I did in high school. We also have a really in-depth internship program, a work-based learning program, where students get to experience about 40 hours between junior and senior year of what it's like to work in the arts, media, and entertainment job sector in Sonoma County. Well, they've been putting on these shows. They really, they absolutely try their best to get you ready for the real world out there. They try to get you ready for job applications, everything like that. So it's one of those things where it's like if you if you navigate correctly through our program and you push yourself and do honors and you get good grades, universities value something unique and we offer that. Really the biggest thing is jobs. Like they, they do practice interviews with you, they set up your job applications, they help you with all that. So once you get out there and you start looking for an actual real thing to do, you already said you know what to do. The AME job sector is enormous in California. It's actually one of the largest job sectors. And so we try to expose our students uh, to kind of the education they need and the preparation they need if they want to be successful and if they want to stay in this region. I'm going to go to the JC for two years after high school and I am excited about joining the theater program there. Because theater I found is my passion and I've found that definitely through Nueva. So if I can go to school for that and ex explore that field, I would love to, I'd love to do that. I think it's just uh, the camaraderie that kids have and a lot of kids are creative and their parents um, may not realize the importance of that. Um, some kids don't discover it till later in life so I think it's really great that we're allowed to explore that with them in 11th and 12th grade and a lot of kids find out that's what I want to do. It took about three or four productions when I realized when you're working with a crew of 70 to 90 kids who all have sweat equity in the production, who are all invested in success, it's actually impossible to fail.